Welcome back and today let's come through about very very interesting features of communication that allows you not to spread falsehood. In this era where we have major platforms, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram and everyone is getting engaged in this and most of the people, the greater part of the population is now much informed and also consume a lot of information from the social media. But sometimes you may find that these platforms also are used to spread falsehood or what we call misinformation or disinformation or malinformation. And these are big terms, but just get to know that there is a way that someone can design a certain message and send it to you and if you cannot confirm and you just read only the headline and you don't get the context of communication finally you end up sharing that information which is falsehood and therefore you become a conduit where false information goes through so it is very very important for you to always check the facts as you read that SMS, a forwarded message where it says this and this and this, don't just be very quick to forward, though it has a lot of information or important information that you feel you need to share to a friend. Sometimes can be information about death, sometimes can be information about a certain political party, can be information about a certain candidate, and you feel like, okay, I need to share with a friend. Before you share, let the back stop with you where you check the facts check how true is that then read the context context may vary for example some text that was sent maybe in 2017 during uh, campaigns and maybe someone said something then may change because the context is different today such people may be aligned to a certain political party and yet they were in another political party then. And therefore, if you use the same piece of information and forward it today, that information is out of context. And therefore you as a person, don't just read the headline, check the context, read through and get the facts right. Ensure that you don't spread something that you're not sure. Sometimes this information come as exciting information and sometimes they elicit the urge to share but actually stop and check the facts let the back stop with you don't be a conduit or spreading malinformation 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 is information that is classified it may be genuine information about maybe a specific family and that information ought to be protected maybe even those people who are releasing that information are violating the data protection law but Finally, they release it to the public so that they can ruin or kind of damage or injure the character of the person that is in question. And therefore, it is very important for you when you talk about malinformation. This, this information is always classified. Classified information is not supposed to be leaked. So if you leak that information, then you share, you become like an agent of spreading of information that injures a certain person or cause injury to the personality of a certain person. So it is good for you to stop it at that particular time. When we talk about misinformation, these are information that may be false, but someone just spread it intentionally or not knowing. Sometimes they don't check the facts and uh, they send and they forward that message and yet that message is not true. When you talk about this information, this is a targeted message that is meant to cause and elicit a certain damage of character to a certain person. And therefore it is very important for you to check all that. Know very well that you don't want to be an agent whereby you're taken in for defamation because you shared certain information that were false. So remember, don't just read the headline. Check the context, check how true it is, and you can always counter check if this information is coming from the main media houses, probably it would be true. But if you see that that information is recorded and maybe even the website they are purporting to say is coming from the main 
stream media just go back and check if other media houses are reporting on the same and that's how the buck stops with you when it comes to spread of propaganda or misinformation that can cause damage not only to personalities but to our community bye bye and see you next time